notice are kind of a mess because I changed some stuff since the last time I did this. Yeah, Lee seems kind of shitty. Well, at the very least, he seems not worth the effort for the execution. I'll put it that way. He has good tools. But then it's shit like, oh, he has a really good 1 plus 2 homie move that he gets a juggle on counter here and on block it's really good. But then it becomes, yeah, but then you gotta fucking practice hours and hours of that pickup. Yeah, sure, they gave him an easier pickup, the cross cancel back 3-3, three, three, but that's still a pain in the freaking ass to do. <clears throat> You know, this and then there's shit like uh, at least they let you kind of mash out one three three three, right? But still, it's like whatever. It's like one more damage and give us a jab punish. <laughs> give him 35 damage, you're gonna make him work that hard, right? There's shit like the back two wall carry. Like who gives a shit? Everybody wall carries. That used to be a very unique thing. Lee's wall carry ever since Tekken 5.0 has always been like top tier wall carry, right? Like, I don't think, I think in Tekken 5 and DR specifically, I don't think anybody had better wall carry than Lee, if I recall right, right? You know, just doing the one, two, it's a misstep in DR, right? And then, uh, in Tekken 6, with the bounce system, all of a sudden, everybody has really good wall carry, right? Well, not everybody, but a lot more of the cast. And then it became less of a big deal for Lee to have that good wall carry with the fucking back two cancels, which are freaking really hard to do, right? And then now, with Tailspin, everybody fucking has amazing wall carry, except Gigas, you know? And maybe Lucky Chloe, I don't know. But almost the whole cast now. So it's like, alright, so what does that mean? That doesn't mean shit for Lee anymore. That becomes other stuff, you know? Like, uh, I went through about maybe 40% of his move list last time. And, you know, so I'm thinking, like, alright. Fifty-one damage. I don't even know how to end his juggles. That's like some sort of wall carry double. Fifty-one damage. That at, at least was pretty easy to do, you know. And then, what was it? Down two. Is that what you're supposed to do now? Even that pickup is hard. Yeah, I never been good at the back two stuff. So at the very least, Lee still has some cool shit like four two one. That's always a nice two. Although his is still a negative ten for some reason. Even though a lot of uh, the other moves that are like that are negative nine. Um, Lil does push back though. You know, he still has his really good down forward one. They nerfed this for some reason, right? This used to be plus on hit, down three into hitman, now it's negative one on hit. I don't know why they did that, but they did. Uh, unless he does the down cancel, right? Was it down back cancel? But that really, you know, that's a pain in the ass. Lee has some cool shit, but it's like. I don't know. I mean, if you really like him, you have to be dedicated to playing Lee. Like, you have to really be, you know. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that he's, like, the hardest character. And he's nowhere near that. No. Don't get me wrong. But he definitely is harder than most. He's definitely up there. Like, if I were to go by, like, tier list for execution characters, right, and S tier was the top, Lee would be A tier, in my opinion. You know, Blazing Kick is such an important move, and you got to, like, it's an awkward execution on it. Like I said before, this fucking pickup. Why is that so hard? This shouldn't be this hard. But whatever. At least they gave him that new tool, like I said, back 3 3 off of Crouch Cancel. So yeah. I don't know. Is he as hard as Nina? I heard that Nina doesn't need the. I did Nina last time, and I heard that Nina doesn't need the butterfly flaps as much as she used to. If that's true, then yes, I think Lee is harder than Nina. If it's not true and Nina really needs butterfly flaps still to maximize her potential, like like it's not a big loss like it would have been before, then uh, or rather if it's still a big loss, butterfly flap for Nina, then I would say they're probably about equal. Because back two, in my opinion, it comes pretty close in difficulty to butterfly flaps. I don't know. Maybe it's just. So I was trying to look for the move that I left off at. I kind of forgot what it was. It wasn't Hitman Stance. Uh, full crouch. No, I did not do while standing moves yet. I did not do while running moves yet. Oh, that's interesting. I know they buffed that. Um, I didn't do 443 yet. I didn't do 44. No, no, I didn't do that. Um, 
factory. I think this is the last move I was looking at. Back three was four, I did that. Up back three, I did that. Up three, I did not do that. So this was, I think this was the last move. So I guess I'll go over it again. But I'm pretty sure up back here was the last one to look at. Alright, so uh, you people that are there, do me a favor. If the volume levels are off, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to start up now. So yeah, I left off at pretty sure up back three. Which, uh, since it's because of the input, you can do from crouching, of course. 18 frame startup. Uh, which I, I don't know why you would want to do that, like as a punisher, but it's there for whatever reason. Uh, this looks like it might be one of those uh, moves that crushes high. Is so fact three? Does it say it's a tech crap? No, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Like if I were to do. Um... Right, if I were just to record that. Right, so... Okay, no. No. It doesn't, it doesn't crush eyes. If it did, that would be useful, but it doesn't. Um, has good range, and I think it's hard to punish on block. Because he moves back, right? Let's see, yeah. So this is um, negative 13 on block, right? And I don't remember off the top of my head what Lee's uh, 13 frame block punishes. I could find that out pretty easily. Hold on a second. So I got this here for startup frames. Alright, so for 13, let's see. We have... Full cross, no. Forward one plus two. Yeah, I think forward one plus two would be his 13. High, high, though. Uh, down forward four, three? No, that's not natural combo on normal hit. So, yeah, it would be forward one plus two. I think that's a new move, too, so I'm guessing he didn't have a 13 frame punish before, like a proper one, outside of down forward one, right? So, uh, forward one plus two it is. People will probably be able to reach with their 13 frame punishes as long as it doesn't have shitty range. Yeah, and at least 13 frame punisher at least looks like it has good range for 1 plus 2. Um, so yeah, I was thinking maybe we get to shallow block, but either way it goes, it's only negative 13, so it doesn't matter as much. At negative 13, uh, you're not really going to get launched, right? You know, you're not going to be fighting any Kazooie's launching your ass for that, so it's not that bad. And he does get a free 4-4-3 out of it. He might get more. I don't know what, though, he would get. I think I got this last time. Maybe he doesn't get a free 4-4-3. I might be mistaken this for another move. Um, yeah, maybe it wasn't this. Oh, a counter hit. On oh, counter hit. He needs a counter hit. Ooh. Maybe he gets a full juggle on counter hit. Jesus. This looks like he could get something. I don't know what, but he could get something, I'm sure. Like a, a, a something for a juggler, like a tailspin. Damn, I'm trying to dash up into a back two is more difficult than it seems. Just a uh, rage drive to follow that up. Yeah, up back three counter hit. It's a rage drive. Come on, that's all that he gets. That's trash. Like, when is he gonna get a counter hit with that fucking move? He might have some sort of really hard to fucking do pick on knowing this character, right? I got a feeling that you could dash up into back three three. I have a little sneaking suspicion. I'm not sure though. Whatever, man. Hold up a second, guys. All right. And uh, I doubt that move has any tracking, right? 
Did I have a way to put him at full crouch at zero? I forgot. Vanguard. Negative four. That might be that might be a good way to test. Oh no, he doesn't have to be full crouch. I'm an idiot. Jab. Okay. One, two. Uh, so just off of a jab, which you're not gonna be doing a jab until that. I can't imagine that. Um so there's no real there's not much tracking to it. Alright. It's only in a plus one situation, right? Alright, so fuck that move. That shit is whack. Next. Uh, unless it's a uh, juggle follow up or something. What happens if he launches people with something like uh, uh, First of all, how much damage does he do? 20 damage. Nah, that shit is useless. Because then I was going to say, oh yeah, what happens if you counter hit with um, back four, right? I mean, if you counter with back four, you're just going to do that. Alright, so next on the list. Back four is trash. It's up three, which is the come on flip. Can him on. Uh, you could recover crouching or standing. Obviously, you hold down to recover crouching. Uh, he could land into Hitman stance if you press 3 plus 4 after up 3. Um, I don't even know if he has any built in options out of this. Doesn't seem to. I don't know what the. <laughs> is, there, is there any purposes other than to like flashy, like be flashy to try to fuck with people, try to get a reaction out of people? Otherwise, I don't know what the point of that move is. Come on. I thought he had at least have one follow-up built into it like Law does, right? But he doesn't have anything. He could just either land standing, land crouching, or land into Hitman. Alright, well, whatever. So he has that. Next on the list, up forward three. Oh, I think this move's alright. I think this move tracks uh, well to his left side, doesn't it? Okay, let's see, sidewalk uh, his left side, the opponent's right side, right? Stand guard, right? Huh, <laughs> not quite. Not quite, alright. Not quite. So that shit has no tracking. At least he moves forward, so it might be hard to get him. Unless you're looking for it, right? So we got stand guard on. Okay, so that's natural combo on normal hit. That's up forward 3 1. It's negative 12 on block. Uh, rec uh, plus 3, he recovers crouching. Recovers crouching, good. He can force a full cough mix up, that's nice. And then he has up forward three, four. That's a popular move. And that's gonna be the safe option because it's a high. It's also a natural combo, of course. Uh, and it's only negative three on block. So it's a t and this is also a tailspin. So. Alright. Uh, how much damage is this a tailspin? Uh, 35 damage. For two hits. I don't know what his other two hit tailspins are. But 35 damage for two hits, that's alright. That's alright, that's a solid tailspin. Ah. Oops. It's quite slow. So maybe he's not that good. <laughs> maybe off of a low parry? Might be a good option for low parry. Depending on what his other chills can move up. Up <sighs> forward three four, down back three four is guaranteed. Oh, nice. So he has a guaranteed follow-up. That's that's pretty solid. A lot of situations where you see this uh this this thing going on, uh, characters don't get free follow-up. So it's nice that he gets one. How about this? Can they escape that? Because if they can't, then that could be a juggle starter and uh four break. Ah, <laughs> way to prove me uh, wrong right away. Maybe if I do a slight step forward. Yeah. Ah, that looks too slow. If he's able to get up and get hit back turn, he probably escape. Let's see. First of all, okay, so he can't. I can't start a side row, can I? Can I stand straight up and block? No, that hits me. If I hold back, that hits me. Uh, yeah. If you do a. 
Once again, needlessly complicated. Why, why, why make him step forward for it? Just give it to him. Jesus. <laughs> so, um, there's an option for it, right? If they stay down, you're gonna break the floor. If they get up, it hits me back turn, which is pretty interesting. Um, and yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you fight against Lee and you notice the setup going on in the floor break stage, just get up and eat it. No, Wilhelm. The reason I don't do that. First of all, the best way to be sure is to do it yourself. Second of all, the reason I don't do that shit is because of this. This is not useful. This option right here. So what this does is it, the uh, AI taps back and that's it. You create more space if you tap back to wake up like this and hold back. It's not reliable. And then there's also like shit like historically Tekken has had very situational glitches that gave you unreliable results. So why, you know, sure I'll use that at first and then I'll double check on myself. And that's how you be sure. That's the only way to be like sure as hell. And there are situations also where the, uh, where the, uh, well, no, backwards is the one that matters because that's what he escaped when I didn't hold forward. Of course, you're not going to be able to settle on time. He, re he, he recovers too fast. That's why. It's pointless. This is, these are the ones that it might do, but it'll do them at an unrealistic speed, I think. There are situations where it's done it where I couldn't recreate it. It makes no sense. Alright, so if I were to like this. See? At least one hit's still connected. Yeah, you're good. If we went the other way, both of the hits connected. And even when only one hit connects, that's still 15 damage. Thumbs up to that one, in my opinion. Right? So, all right, so at, it was 15 plus, um, at worst, 15 plus, uh, plus, uh, 35, right? So we got fucking 50 damage out of that. As opposed to... Oops, down back, right? 46 damage. That does float, though. Does he get another hit? He doesn't recover in time to get another hit. And it can tech. So. Mm. Nah, I would say go for the forward 3 plus 4. Uh, yeah, well, home, but I haven't gotten there yet. I'm not jumping ahead. What's up, Windex? I'm going through the RB Norway move list. Move my move. I don't like. I I get too distracted sometimes. I don't want to jump too far ahead. Uh, so yeah, these are. This is a good move. There's always like. Oh, so I think I was I was uh, interrupted before, but when I was trying to say before was it frequently when you see uh, options like this, like a mid to a high, a safe high versus a mid to an unsafe mid option and they're both natural combo usually the high doesn't give you any sort of bonus reward in the case of lee he gets a nice little bonus reward and it's not really that hard to execute you just you don't even need a dash you just kind of hold forward and then just time the three plus four afterwards and then you'll get it so that's good that's good that's good that's good that's good So that was a 4-3. Uh, we already know a 4-3 doesn't track. The uh, follows my track, though. Let's see. Yeah, it'll either track or he'll keep going forward and just whiff, whiff city. Yeah, no. He's too off axis. Even if that second hit did track, he ain't going to turn around with it. Um, let's test the uh, step. He's gonna, yeah, it's too slow, so step is not, step is not worth testing. Where am I going? Here. Yeah, it's gonna hit him if I'm stepping, right? No, it's not! <laughs> I thought because it was so slow that I had to, I had to hold forward a bit to realign. I thought, yeah, I thought because it was gonna be so slow that the side step would stop and then it would connect. But this shit is so linear, he doesn't realign at all with the input. It's crazy. Alright, at the very least, it'll catch step in that direction. Right? Woo! Not quite. <laughs> but I negative one it did. Go figure, right? Yeah, we'll call this linear. I mean, it is worth knowing that a negative one, you could rely on it catching them. They probably wouldn't expect that. They probably would think that's like a simple linear move, right? All right. Next we have, ah, one of his primary whiff punishers. 
443, which is the regular version of his current rage. So we don't really need to check in on this. I don't think it has any hair tracking. Because, uh, you, well, first of all, you're primarily going to be using this as a whiff punch. Second of all, it's a 4-4 move. You can realign. Always. By delaying the 3. A little bit. So... The thing about this is it's negative 11, but it pushes back. I'm not even sure if Gigas could punish him for this. Uh, but when the opponent's back is to the wall, if they block this, everybody's going to be able to punish it because the back push, uh, the pushback is negated at the wall. So that's pretty much how this works, but, uh... This should always be on your mind as like one of your go-to whiff punishes. Like a safer option than this, where a sharp opponent will be able to duck you for the high. Uh, duck the high and then launch you. This, you don't have to worry about that, but obviously it's less reward. But it does knock them back, so you can close the gap, push them further towards the wall. Lee is really good at the wall, so it's a nice option to have. Oh shit, that gif is still going? <laughs> Nobody tell me. I love that gif. I haven't used the GIF in a while, that's why I forgot. <laughs> What's up, Vader? <laughs> now, I had that GIF going for the starting soon. I'm such a scrub at this whole streaming thing. Uh, I had the GIF going just uh, when I had the starting soon shit up. <laughs> well, thankfully, I didn't cover anything important other than uh, the uh, CPU leaves legs. So, anyway, thanks for the uh, heads up. Yeah, no, that was Randy Orton uh, the first time he fought Jinder Mahal, the Maharaja. And uh, Jinder Mahal had these, has these two small guys with him, and Randy Orton just carelessly tosses one of them on the table. In a very dangerous angle, dude fucking his head hits the table. And clearly you see Randy Orton break character and go, ooh. <laughs> like, oops. <laughs> Never forget the black screen. <laughs> Beta knows. Beta knows what's up. Alright, alright. Enough of me being a dumbass, right? Back to me being a non-dumbass and uh, learning some second with you guys, right? Um, so yeah, 443, one of your go-to whip punishers. Like I said, that's pretty much it. Now, other than that, it's like the follow-up for this, back to Tekken 6 status while standing 2-3. It's a very difficult follow-up. More difficult than it should be considering it's not a full juggle, but hey, that's uh, that, that's lead for you, right? At least it's 54 damage, so your average like 14 frame while standing launcher, it's gonna net you, without walls, it's gonna net you mid-60s, right? So this is for just for just being one hit. It's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, and I'm sure if uh, if you have uh, rage there, you'll probably get a full juggle out of that. So yeah, at the very least, really, 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 really trying to look at it at a glass half full <laughs> way instead of a glass half empty. Lee sucks. All right, so fast forward four three. Uh, like I said, I thought it has any inherent tracking, but why not test? Yeah, no, no inherent tracking. Woo! Beta! Mi amigo. So like I said, uh, no inherent tracking, but it's a forward forward move. Just put a little delay on it, and it'll have to block. Thanks for the host, Beta. See? Like always. By the way, any questions non-knee non related? Yeah, he got a full combo in Tag 2. This is how it was in Tekken 6, where they first gave him that while standing launcher. So, it's weird. Lee can... I don't know if he can do it at 15 frames, but he can do his hop kick from crouching. Like, I swear, I've seen GM do it before. I do not know the trick. I've gotten it to come out. Hell, I did part one, and it's uploaded to my YouTube. When I did part one of this, when I was looking through his move list. I did that shit, like, twice by accident. I don't know the trick. Maybe Beal, who's in my chat, knows the trick to get a hop kick from crouching. I don't know if it comes out at 15 frames either. It might be, like, a crouch cancel that'll add one or two frames. But you can hop kick from crouching. Like, I've seen GM do it off of the uh, slide mix-up. Instead of doing while standing 2-3, uh, which is launch punishable, he would, like, do a hop kick. And not that, not that shitty-ass hop kick either. He would do, like, a proper-ass hop kick. Yeah, uh, Beal, I don't, do you know the trick to it? I just know that he could do it. I don't know if there's a trick to it. I just, like I said, I've just gotten to come out by accident. Well, anyway, like, moving on. 4-4-4 four, four, four is the next move. Ah, this is uh, one of his counter hit tools. No, Wilhelm, he has a full crouch up four. Like law. See? It, uh, he has overlapping inputs. So there's like a... There's a trick to getting it. And that move is, uh, while it is a launcher, it's 18 frames. 
Also, if you're trying to up forward for you get that. Oh! Nah. I'd have to ask GM if I uh, next time I go to NLBC if he's there. He wasn't there last time I went, not yesterday, the week before. I'll ask him. I wish I went yesterday, but I had to help my pops or something. Could have met Xavier Woods. Hey, there you go. I just did it. Oh, I'm not okay. No, I'm not doing it. That's me not going into full crouch. I'm pressing up forward four before I actually go into full crouch. And the only thing I know about is when I see GM do it, when I watch him fight somebody else, he like presses it really hard. So he's clearly doing something really deliberate to get that. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, forget that for now. Let me go back to four, four, four. So this is one of his uh, counter hit tools. Plus six on hit. It does that knockout on counter hit. And I think he can do two in a row. What is, how much damage is it? It's 22 damage. So maybe it's not the best option. Like, I know he could, I think he used to be able to do two in a row, I believe. And then carry, yeah, and then he'll do the juggle. That's 15 damage. Eh. It might still be his best option. Okay. Unless he has a new screen that I don't know about. It might still be his most damaging pickup off of that. Um, 4 for 4, 4 for 4. That doesn't pick up. Damn, it's so weird that the back two doesn't pick up because of the weird ass angle that they're at, right? Down forward one, yeah. I had a feeling that would be down forward one, but that's such shitty damage, right? I don't know. Four, 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 four. What's this misstep? Um, is that a tailspin? What, is, what are his other two hit tailspins? I can just look at the movie first real quick. So, Rage Drive. Oh, no, no. Uh, Dump. Okay. Okay. Maybe this will work then. Two, two, three. Still not good. Eh. That's gonna suck. That doesn't even count. <laughs> that doesn't even connect properly. Uh, Hitman three. Whew. Acid storm. No, you don't want to use acid storm like that. Revolution's lay. Yeah, I tried that already. Up forward three four. I, I tried that already. So slow. Um, Lee Cutter. What's that? Oh, that's new. That looks way too slow. Also, that input is awkward as fuck. While standing 2-4. Oh, man. That's probably possible, but hard as fuck to do. Lee screw left, Lee screw right. Sidestep, sidestep. Really? Nah, that's way too slow. <laughs> Weird. So he has a high and a mid. The mid is more damage. Twenty-eight. That look at that angle, though. Fuck. I can't give this guy anything. Yeah, I know. But while standing four is like off of uh, misstep and shit. Can't even pick up with that. If 
funny that connected in that situation. That would be ideal. Uh, the misstep cancel into while standing is what? Anybody know? How do I go misstep into while standing? Yeah, Bo keeps saying Lee. Lee sucks. Thank you, uh, Mazman. Back in the neutral too. There it is. Okay, that doesn't feel too bad. The misstep cancel itself, I have trouble with doing the back two forward. Okay. Sixty damage, five hits. That down forward one really fucks up that juggle's damage. If there was a way you could avoid doing that down forward one. Lionhearted boy, don't worry about it. I only use this for training mode. Nobody that's any good is like. Well, I mean, I'm sure there are using it, but they're not like. It's not like an exploit. It's just uh, refreshing their memory. And anybody who's bad isn't looking at frame data in the middle of the match and making use of it. <laughs> they're paying attention to what's going on on the screen. It's like, yeah, have fun looking up or looking away for your frame data in the middle of a match. You know, that's. It's nuts. Ain't nobody doing that. Uh, anyway, you can just use RB Norway if you want as a side thing. It is very great to have, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it sucks to have it. All right. So, um, I mean, you can figure out, put together, try to look up a combo and uh, put something together better than that. I don't know. But 444 into 444 is where you want to start, in my opinion. If not, then something easy. Maybe that. Well, sorry. Um, that into a forward. Uh, uh, three was it three three four? Oh, uh, four three four. And you can whoops. You can dash up into down two for a pickup and then wall carry with whatever, right? This is something brain dead easy mode for you new players, right? That doesn't even combo. <laughs> All right. Um, four 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 is negative five on block, so it's safe. It is high, and he does duck highs. I don't know if uh, this is like a proper high crush or he's just ducking for a few frames. So like, for example, Fighting GM, he's, I don't know if he still does, but he used to always do two in a row. Hmm. Maybe it, it seems like the, the ducking in it is not as fast as I thought, unless my execution sucks. Unless they nerfed the move. But as you can clearly see, there's a window in there where if I were to do a 1-2 jab, bam, it will catch me. So if you're like a little lazy with your inputs, it'll catch you. You might be better off of a jab. Yeah, much better off of a jab. So yeah, really good move. Uh, let's see how it drops. It is a full forward move, so if it doesn't have any inherent track, and remember the trick. Okay, it seems like it has some to his right, maybe? Yeah, I think it has some to his right. Yep. Definitely good for his right side. No realignment needed. Not for his left side. So it's one of those situations where it follows the rule of uh, step away from the move animation. It's, it's coming from his right side. You go to your right, his left. But it is a four forward move. So like I always say, four forward, hold forward, delay the four. Just enough to catch the move. All right, next on the list. Or any questions? Uh, Lord Spooky himself has a lead, so I'm using it when he was briefly back in the New York at next level of Assassin. 
Yeah, I mean, Lee's a fun character to play when you get down, like, his awkward execution stuff. All right, next on the list is Blazing Kick. Oh, this is a good move. This is a big one. This is his, um, this is kind of like his version of Heihachi forward forward 2, except you could actually punish this one all block. <laughs> Unlike Heihachi forward forward 2, for most of the cast. That's getting the shit out of me. It's been a while since I got a story. <laughs> Shout outs to Win. Win uh, is it Windex? Like pronounced with a W or Nwindex? Either way, good looking out, amigo. I appreciate it greatly. And I will click on that link once I find the tab. <laughs> I was not ready for that shit at all. Better not be some, um. Some fucking obese Oscar porn like your Wayne Gamble. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but that's a funny face. Alright, uh, <laughs> thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Let me go back to the action. Speaking of Glorious, uh, NXT Brooklyn is next week. Or Saturday. So the next on the list is Blazing Kick. The input is down, down, back, four. Which is kind of awkward. Think like Tatsu, but minus the back part. There you go. I kind of did a forward, like, my inputs are sloppy, as you can see. Let me see if I can get a cleaner input here. Uh, that's pretty much it. You don't have to be super clean as you see I got down back twice and then I got the four and it came out um, This has good range it does duck He is considered ducking during it pretty much and He does a ton of damage off of this shit as you can see It's one of those what they call a class three launches Like I feel like I might even be able to get a better follow-up than that. I don't know if there is a better follow-up than that But you know Oops. I'm, I suck, I can't even execute it. By the way, if this were DR, that would launch. But it ain't DR, so get fuck, Lee. I can't even do it all of a sudden. There it is. Well, whatever. Uh, it doesn't duck you, sure. I didn't say high crush, I said it ducks. That, that was my wording. High crushing and it ducking is a different thing. Like this kind of ducks. I wouldn't call it a high crush, though. Either way, it might not duck. Let's see. Alright, it doesn't. So yeah, you can jab this motherfucker in the face. It does have good range. Let's see, uh, one, two. One, two, three. Okay, so about two and a half back dashes is worth. Yep. And you're gonna get probably his highest damage juggles on normal hit out of it. TC notification doesn't necessarily mean a high crush. Uh, I think in the case of TC, it does. In the case of TJ, it does not mean low crush though. There are TJ moves that like, all it really means is if you get hit out of it, you're gonna get floated, but they're not low crushes. For example, Gigas' uh, sidestep uh, two. Whatever the Gigas move where he does the sidestep uh, and he does the big ass wind up like double punch. That shit, it says tech jump, but it doesn't crush. He even visually hops when he does it. It doesn't crush, but if you hit him, he gets floated. Uh, another one is Nina's while running run plus two. I wouldn't call that a low crush at all. But if you hit her out of it, she's floating. In the case of Tech Crouch, uh, I would say Tech Crouch is definitely a uh, high crush. The thing is, how good of a high crush is it? Like, how long does it take for the character to actually be considered ducking? For example, you know? Like, uh, a more proper high crush, right? Let's see. This is negative five, so if this were like a really good high crush, Maybe if I put do it without delay, but I say at negative five, your typical high crush will still high crush a jab at negative five. Typically, right? Like if I do this to a crouch jab, maybe let's see. Let's see if I'm right. I might be wrong. Nope. See, crouch jab went under. <sighs> I'm sure a down three would work too. Might as well test that too, man. Right? 
Nope, not so much for Dom. Uh, Dom I gotta pump up the AC of getting hot up in here. Bagoosh. Alright. Uh. So yeah, Dom 3 isn't even that great of a high crush. Go figure. Uh, so I was talking about Blazing Kick. Blazing Kick is negative 17 on block, but check out the pushback. Right? That's not as much as Heihachi's forward forward too. But you could get a kind of shadow block, right? And, uh, yes, a little more space than usual with shadow block. Eh, not much. Like, uh, Dragonall, for example, could, uh, punish this with a forward 1 plus 2. Three speed, sixteen. Good thing Lee has that as a juggle starter now. The wheel, I told you it's a good move. Fifteen frame punish with range. Before, what did Lee do to punish this? What did Lee do to punish this? Maybe that, unless he blocked it shallow, right? I made it whiff once, didn't I? I don't know who it's facing. Man, I don't know how I made it whiff that one time. Oh, I held back to block, that's why. Oops. That shit's pretty reliable. Hell, I don't know. I don't know enough about Lee to say it's for sure, but I suspect that this might be... This move being buffed might be one of his best new additions. Next to maybe getting a 13 frame punish. It might be. I don't know. Especially since it has such long range. And it doesn't, like, scale until the very last hit. So it only takes a 70% scaling. It doesn't take the scaling before that. Uh, that shit wasn't TR. Oh, yeah, I ain't played TR Lee. Hell, nobody played TR Lee. Only you, Beal. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know. No one used it. Who played Lee and TR? Who played TR that was any good? And who played Lee and TR? This is a good block punish. If you're not using it, then I don't know what the fuck you Lee players are doing. Why would you not use that? Unless they're too cl close enough for you to get maybe a hop kick and maybe a hop kick gives them better damage. What's the problem with using Acid Ring? <laughs> you were the only one, that's what I'm saying. What, what's the, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. What's the problem with that move? Wait, a hot kick would be like it's a this, right? Something like that, right? That would be the usual juggle. I always see hot kick to four up three. So, you just look at the first hit. The 70% scaling is taken up, in this situation, taken up, and you get 24 damage. Here, at 70% with tailspin, you're already at 32 damage. It's an old move, but it didn't work like this before, well, huh? Before, it was just a not, it was this. That's what it was before. Now, with that extra hit, you got that. That's what I'm saying, it's a buff. Well, whatever. I think it's a great move. Now, not only that, all that jails and uh, it's hit confirmable. You can press the four mana late. As long as you're, well, not too late, but. That's the easiest hit confirm in the world, so you could just use it regularly. The only thing that will fuck you up, that where well, that will really fuck you over, is if they sidestep. But even then, the later hits can catch them. They have to, like, sidewalk around you to really fuck you up for that shit. And it jails at, uh... I looked at this move last time. I forget already. So it does jail at negative 27, so you have to, like, do the will he commit to the last hit or won't he to make it safe. So that's the that's what the major downside is. But as a block punish, I think it's still a fantastic block punisher because it has a shitload of range. One. One, two. Okay, so not two except until the end, but one and a half. About a, da a backdash and a half worth of space at 15 frame startup. It whiffs at range? 
I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm trying to get the max range for it. Looks like it connects to me. It might be a matchup thing if you're fighting like a small character. See? As long as you get that float, you know you're gonna get the last kick. Maybe if you're off axis. Can you execute this instantly as a block punisher? MS34. I don't think I've ever seen MS34 as a block punish. Because misstep takes time to activate. It's MS34. It's not just some, you know, like forward forward or forward 34. Right? So it animates at 15 frames, but you have to misstep to get it. So it's probably better as a uh, whiff punisher. Right? Yeah. MS34, sure. For whiff punisher, sure. That's better. Right? A lot of range. About the same range, actually. <laughs> I'm trying not to get any forward movement to get it at 15 frames. Yeah, I guess they're about the same range. They both they both whiff at two back dashes. So I don't know. And I already verified that you can't. I don't think you could, it's like, unless it's a trick, I don't know. You can't inst instantly execute misstep three to make it 15 frames. You can do forward three, though. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'll ask uh, GM next time I run into him, see what he thinks. Although, he tends to have really weird opinions, so I don't fucking know. All right, well, anyway, back to, uh, what was I up to? Oh, yeah, I was talking about Blazing Kick. So, yeah, I mean, you know, you definitely could uh, launch punish this. Uh, some characters will have more trouble launch punching than others, but at the very least, those characters will have something else that would do good damage against this move, right? Some sort of long-reaching, like, shoulder-style move or something like that. Either way, either way it goes, this is like one of those, oh, they did a huge whiff, and I'm like back here, like a Lars with the up forward four, then you, you don't suck like me, and you do it, right? It's a kind of awkward input. It's an awkward input. I've never been like, like I said, Lee has weird shit, and I never played Lee. So I'm scrubbing at this execution, and I think it gets, like I said, some. I believe he gets some of the highest damage uh, on normal hit uh, juggles out of it, as far as normal hit launches go. And I'm pretty sure this moves to the nearest though. Very linear. And it's a big whiff too, so don't fucking whiff it. It's best to only use it as a whiff punish attempt from space. That way there's uh I'm not gonna say you're gonna get away with whiffing it, but it gives them like at the very least less options. Because they might they might be too far to reach you with like a down forward two or a hop kick depending on the options of the opponent character. But yeah, it's there. Yeah, well, um, that's why, like I said, uh, most good lead players don't do it up close. They do it from, like, back here. If Whether whether they have, like, some sort of crazy-ass hard read or they, they're gonna they're gonna think you're gonna whiff punish. I mean, they think you're gonna whiff, sorry. You know. And they don't suck like I do with the execution of it. They'll catch you with it. Up close, though. I don't know about these options. Yeah, at least Hawkeye is fine. Not not for two though. But 
if you block it from like where I said, Hockey Bell Sun doesn't work out too well. It's a good thing he's got forward three, 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 three. <laughs> That's probably how also you punish um, Asuka's back three. I don't know what he did before for back three. Maybe he had this before for back three. But I bet you that'll reach. Matter of fact, let's find out. Fuck it. Why, why speculate, right? Any leap is worth the shit, probably won't be doing that, unless you're playing disrespectfully. They won't be doing that up in your face. Just like Asuka probably won't be doing back three up in your face, unless they're like... A scrubby one likes to play super random and to get away with it all day because people don't punish it properly. I get at a loss of how to punish that with Dragon off, because I think it's just forward 3 2. Because she recovers crouching and forward 1 plus 2 is a high. Mm. This is why the good player's space just move out. It's fucking obnoxious as hell. That punish. That was a whiff. Nope. That's what you gotta do with a shadow block. Up close block though. Let's do it without the jab. I get fucked, Lee. Get fucked, Lee. <laughs> Lee sucks. <laughs> oh, you better have that. Look at that. I didn't even punish. Get that fucking 443 locked and loaded. Shit. Poor Lee. I feel kind of bad for him. Bad matchup. Back three all day. Dude, if I were Asuka fighting this character, I would just abuse the shit out of this. Can he at least get a step forward to forward two? Um. Damn, not even a step forward with it? Jeez. If they commit to the follow-up, you'll hit him. Otherwise, you gotta have a 4-4-3 four, four, locked and loaded. Is it while running? Uh, try back. Oh, so I already switched. Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll go back and try right now. I mean, yeah, sure. That, that works. That'd be better than nothing, right? Want to make sure it's close, right? No, nope. sorry. Dash or step. No punish. That's a high too. It's a high. I thought it was mid. That's high. Back one. Uh, can I confirm? I beast the fuck out of up four four every time I expected him to throw out a reversal. Of course. Yeah, uh, a BL, even if it did reach, it's a high. So it's no good. Can he back roll that? I think I tested his last time, I forgot. Okay, about so. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you lead players, if you're finding Oscars, you gotta have that 4 4 3 locked and loaded, because that back three is a fucking pain in the ass. Fucking Does she have to commit to the uh, to the follow to actually get a juggle now, or could she still just juggle off of the back three by itself? Asuka, I'm asking about. I forget. I, I went through her move list, but I kind of forgot. She has to commit to the low and then the high, right? Back three, four, three, or whatever. Any Asuka players around? So she has to commit to actually get a juggle now? Ah, well, there you go. So for her to actually get the reward off of it, at the very least, you could punish that by ducking. I don't like that kind of shit, though, personally. Anyway. So that's, uh, I was looking at Blazing Kick, right? Uh, Blazing Kick, down, down, back, four, there it is. Uh, well, the startup is 22 frames, so there's no block punishment you'll be doing really with it, really. Uh, back back four is next, and that's the one that I found as a tailspin. It's a high hitting tailspin. Uh, on block, it's was neg negative two. Back back four. Back back four is negative three. It says here, but the bot says negative two. Right? What's twelve frames? Oh no, I could just thirteen frames after, right? So record. No way. 11 frames. Do 11 frames Yeah. Uh, it's negative 2. The bot is right. RB no is wrong. That would be negative 2. High tailspin. Uh, homing move. Knocks down on normal hit. Oh, it's one of those knockdowns. Same thing on counter hit. Alright, so when we see one of those knockdowns, let's switch the stage. I mean, you know, that's his matchup knowledge shit. That's why I would want to know because if she can't, if she has to commit to the low to actually juggle now, that's kind of a nerf to that move. But it make, and then it adds that stupid mind game on how she's gonna follow up the string and if she's gonna follow up the string. It's still a really good defensive move, even if you just do the kick by itself. It's an incredibly obnoxious move. Uh, all right, uh, I gotta knock this clown down. How do I knock him down? Down three and counter hit. Oh, wow, not on the side turn opponent. Face me! Okay. Hey! He do. So when the walls see your right, you can pick up with this on normal hit. I don't know what the combo would be in this situation, but... Yeah, yeah, you, you can. Uh, this is back three, three forward. You can miss step cancel. It. You can do jabs at the very least, but I'm sure you get something better than jabs. So anyway, now that I verified that, um, for a high homing move that's negative three on block, pretty solid option for that unique situation. But you'd be surprised at how often you end up in that situation. Hell, I only notice that situation because Dragonov gets unique stuff whether the wall's to his left or to his right. And the opponent is in his front of him. You'd be surprised. All it takes is like somebody getting wall comboed and then teching while the other person sidesteps and then you're in that situation. That's really all that it takes. And to have that attached to a homing move of all things, it's pretty good. And not a super slow one. What is that? Oh, oh the bot wasn't reacting. Oh. 18 frames. Not the slowest homing move in the world though. Back, back. Four. That input does make it a little slow. Oh, he has a follow-up. Oh no, he he go go into Hitman apparently. There you go. I don't know if that gives him anything mid-stage though. He has a Hitman sweep. It won't reach. Uh. Wow. 
trying to. I wonder if a slide is guaranteed. Instant slide. Um, yet another input I suck at, even though I play Shaheen. <laughs> it looks so. It looks so bootleggish. What the hell? Whatever. Maybe uh that. Oh, not that. Maybe uh that. That might be guaranteed. I think it might be. Looks like it would be right. So they can't tech it. So wake up backward was already set. Let's see. Uh, side roll. Yeah, they don't even start the side roll. That's a good sign. Yeah, that's probably guaranteed. And you don't even need to dash forward just like you like like you do for the uh so ah. Alright, so next we got While running three. Okay, so this move got changed up. Right? I think this used to be a juggle starter before, but now it's plus on block. So, yeah, while running 3-4, this used to cause an instant bound. Now it spikes. Like, if you wanted to be really flashy, you could literally do an instant while running 3-4 as a bound in Tag 2. GM used to do it all the time. Yeah, now now it doesn't bound. If floor, if floor breaks, though, you can tell because of that spike. You can tell, because whenever you see that spike, that's a sign that the move will always floor break. And, um... Let's see. So you can make a juggle starter in that stage. You can go to Hitman, huh? No, I'm looking at the wrong thing, sorry. Oh no, he can go into Hitman. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if you can get anything for free if they don't hold back to wake up, because that kind of knockdown usually gets something for free. Doesn't he have like a flipping forward stomp? Well, whatever. And according to this, it is plus one to three, which means it's gonna be plus one. Let's be real. You're probably gonna need uh, to catch people off of teching on the second hit for it to be <laughs> plus three, if possible, which you're not gonna ha have happen. Um, yeah, I know. They left all other... I feel like they left every single other move that instantly bounds as an instant bound. But for whatever reason, they took this away. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. It was safe on block, so fuck me. I didn't like, I didn't like that shit. While running through, is a knee. Juggle starter, safe on block. That's a running move, so it's like... Of course, it's gonna track. Uh, but yeah, at the very least, they made a plus on block, so plus one. So it's a setup for two, two, three, of course. And at plus one, like, this becomes harder to sidestep, at least in one direction. At plus one, this becomes harder to sidestep, at, and at least one, in at least one direction, so. Yeah. While running three by itself is negative nine. 14 frame startup. Interesting. You're not going to be punishing me with this. You might, I don't know. If you're, if you're on some godlike shit, you want to block punish with our running moves. By all means, give it a shot. Uh, according to this, when you uh, cancel to Hitman, the bot doesn't know what to do with this. But according to this, it's plus four. Hitman 2 is 12 frames. Hitman 1 is 12 frames. Hitman 2 is 19 frames. Uh, Hitman 4 is 24. Hitman 3 is 17 frames. Okay, if it's plus four, 17, uh, there should exchange for 13, right? Well, I'm the one doing a 17 frame. He has to do the fast move. So if he does 13 frames. All right, got it. So I'll, I gotta make him do Hitman three. See, I'm an idiot. I've been challenging this move on block because I'm used to the tag too. I didn't know they made a plus one. And I, de I especially didn't know that it got better frames on uh, Hitman transition. 
don't know if that was as fast as possible, but... Yeah! It is plus four. Hey man, stats up full four. Is that the one where he does the jumping stomp? Okay, that is the one. Um, so, in this case... What is, it? is that the one that goes to him, man? It is. There you go. And that combos, and that might floor break. I don't know if it does. But honestly, so does uh, this. I mean, I guess the stomp hitman up for four would give you more damage, right? It's only going to be one hit with the floor break. So you're saying off of this if they don't hold back, like he's not doing it right now. Hitman stats up four four. Yeah, there you go. That would be a guaranteed option. If they don't hold back, you could do that. And I believe that has a follow up. So if they do hold back. And they're matching, you can catch them with the follow-up, right? What's the follow-up to that shit? That's definitely has a follow-up. I don't know what it is, but... Whatever, I'll get there when I get look, do, look at the Hitman stuff. Alright, so... Um, yeah, while running 3-4, plus 1 on block. If you go into Hitman by, press, by holding 3 plus 4... You can hold it, you don't have to match, or you can match it, but you don't have to, you can just hold it. It's plus four. So that's nice. And it knocks down either way. Nothing special on counter hit. Nope, nothing special on counter hit. So it's still a really good move. At the very least, they didn't just nerf it, they gave it some buffs to go with the nerfs. Next on the list, while standing two, three, I already talked about this before, this is his. 14 frame while standing Punisher. You get a free uh, forward 4 3, but it's hard to do. A lot of people have trouble doing it. You have to time it earlier than you think. If you see forward uh, right there, what just happened, if I get, if you get forward 3, it means you were too early. If you get forward 4 3 and it whips, it means you were too slow. So that will be your visual indicator. And you gotta try to your brain to get the right uh, middle ground. Too late. Too late. There you go. Just right. And if you're near the wall, even if from this far, you got a full wall splat. No, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> yeah. He gets a wall splat, like, they don't have to be pressed up against the wall. So near the wall, it's actually a strong option still. It's a risky one, but if you want to force the full cross mix up. Pretty rewarding, but he has a new extension now. A safe on block one, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, because it's safe on block, it's mid high, doesn't jail. First of all, second of all, is that hit crumble? Nope. nope. It's, it's not hit confirmable, but it is one of those where you could delay the three enough to, like, swing the two. And if you happen to notice that they're starting some sort of animation, you could confirm the three based on that. You could kind of do that. I feel like I've seen GM do that before. Or at least act like he's doing that. He'll go like this. And then when he usually, when he's trying to, like, catch you ducking the slide, he'll go. And then if he happens to see you, like, pressing a button, he'll hit the three. But it's not, hit, it's not like, really hit confirmable. It's not traditionally hit confirmable. You have to input the uh, three before the two actually connects, but you couldn't input the three while the two is swinging. That's what I'm getting at. So you gotta be on some fucking Adderall or something to see that. Alright, so the rage. What's his rage drive? Forward? No, forward, 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 forward. It is. Not forward, three plus four. Yeah. You can go into Hitman, I'm sorry, into a Mist out of that, right? And this you can just mash, this one's easy. Because it's not a forward forward three, it's just down, it's one down forward in three plus four. So yeah, you can, you got a Tailspin and you go into whatever. I don't know if you still got a second Tailspin considering you're getting it like right off the bat. 
And there's walls here to fuck me up. Let me do this. Uh, a forward three? Maybe a forward three. That, that he recovers so slow the dash is awkward. Krim. What made me pick up Lee? I'm not picking up Lee. Call me Krim. I'm playing, uh, I do uh, moveless run throughs of every character. Or, like, I'm aiming to do every character. I've done almost half the cast at this point, and just right now I'm doing uh, Lee. Yeah, you do the misstep. What a fucking headache. Everything has to be hard execution with this asshole. Even if I cancel the misstep, it's <laughs> don't even get it in time. Uh, what's he misstep a uh, course crew? What's up, Milo? Yeah, whatever. You do the misstep to actually combo off of it. Fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> I'll be sitting here all day in a combo board sex at this rate. So you guys who want to play Lee are just going to have to look that one up. It's unfortunate that even... I mean, I'm sure you get something if you just run up without misstep, but it's quite difficult. <sighs> and then he has this. So this is negative six, while this... That while standing 2-3 is not as bad as it used to be. It used to be launch punchable universally, now it's only negative 14. I think it was negative 15 or 16 on a dot, something like that. Um, and both are natural combo. Yeah, no punish. What's 14 for Lee? Uh, you have a 14 frame punish? Forget off the top of my head. Uh, side step three while running. While running three. <laughs> That's not happening. Three, 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 four. Back two. Uh, back three, forward two. Oh yeah, forward two, one. There you go. <laughs> Trying wild running through that shit. So, I used to be a Marduk main. A forward two. The slap. How can she slap? Nah, um, I used to be a Marduk main. And uh, that's not really why I'm main. Um, I don't know if I'm. I almost said maining Gigas. I don't think I'm maining Gigas. I guess he's my highest rank now on PC. He's like, was it? The one after Usurper, or whatever that is. But, um. <clears throat> I like the things that I like. I hate Gigas. The things that I, uh, I hate the way he looks. I hate the way he is. The things I like about Gigas are his jab range. I like his command grab, which sucks against good players, of course, but because uh, everybody breaks throws, right? But his command grab is very fun to abuse people with, and uh, I like his high damage off of his uh, juggles. That's about it. As long as you don't drop his juggles and you get killed. So wall stank 2-4 is going to wall splat. And 35 damage. That's pretty good damage. Uh, stand guard. Negative six. So you gotta duck it. Alright. I'm 
trying to blazing kick. <laughs> You'll have to um, settle with that if you're fast enough, if you're lead. Wow, I did it the first time and I can't do it now. Jesus, there it goes. Fast enough, you can punch it with that. Uh, doesn't Lee have a quick jab launcher? It's like down forward two or something. I don't know. Yeah, 15 frames. But you also have to 15 frame hop kick. Either way, goes you're ducking there. Uh, you're telling me you don't love that ass, that Gigas ass. <laughs> While standing two, three, rage drive, misstep back to forward. That's what I was trying to do, Willem. Yeah. Basically, Willem's telling me in the chat, uh, out, out of this, it's a rage drive, right? You do the misstep, and then you catch him with back two. And then you can, you do it like two loops, back two forward, back two forward, while standing two four, bop ba, the while standing catch I talked about earlier off a misstep, which is back neutral two four. Uh, sorry. It's uh, what's this? Sorry. There it is. That. And then screw. And then that's 80 damage after the screw, so you do whatever follow up. You can do it while running. Forward two one. Thankfully, he gets just, just like Josie. He could just run into his forward two. So that will probably connect. Yep, yep, yep. Shit like that. Um, so yeah, while standing two, let me see how the tracking is on while standing two. Do I have a way to put him uh, crouching at like? Well, okay, negative three. That's a good way to test tracking. quite well to his right side. Oh! This might be like Nino's while standing three. Uh, sorry, while standing two. That's a nice little, ni nice other little bonus for this move here. Okay, so you have to, they have to walk to Lee's left to get around that, not step. So it's pretty good tracking on that. Uh, yeah, forward two, one for damage. While running 3-4 as an end juggle lender for um, Oki. And a forward toe will also wall carry. Wow, the more damaging option wall carries. Well, I guess that makes sense. Whatever. Alright, so next on the list is while standing 3. Ah, yes. Okay, here's one of Lee's super, super unique tools. As a matter of fact, now that Lay's not in the game, I believe Lee's the only one... With a, uh, well, outside of Akuma with meter and uh, Eliza with meter. Maybe even without meter, they could both cross jab into DP. Well, whatever. Lee is one of the few Tekken proper characters, I call him that. The only one now that has a scary 10 frame while standing punishment. Now, the thing is, it's scary, right? But if your opponent knows the matchup, it's still scary. It's a lot of damage, but they can make it really risky for you. So the while standing 10 frame punisher is while standing 3-3. Three, three. And uh, to, to, to give you an idea of how cool that is, there's there's like a couple of really like edge case scenarios where you're gonna you're gonna be really glad you had. For example, Brian. A lot of Brian players like to throw out that forward forward four, uh, that high homing kick that starts juggles on counter hit now. Fucking god knows why. Um, that's not gonna 10 forces crouch and it pushes back. So outside of a few cases, unless Brian's right in your face. People only get like a crouch stat. A couple of characters have like this uh, generic looking while standing one plus two, like Lee. Although, in the, in the case of Lee's, it's a 12 frame mid, but it visually it looks like this. And this is just Lee's while standing one. Some characters, like Brian, have a while standing one plus two that looks kind of like that, and it's 10 frames up close, point blank, and then because a lot of frames spread apart. That's the only, that and crouching one jabs, not two, crouching one jabs, are the only other like 10 frame, like from crouching moves that you're gonna see. So, here's the thing about while standing three, three. On hit, it is negative eight. But, you might have heard about Lee's infinite kicks. Smashing three while holding down. Off of while standing 3-3, three, three, right? So avoid just putting yourself at negative 8 on hit. You can choose instead to commit to two kicks of the infinite kicks. So, and it's a built-in high-risk mix-up. While standing, down 3-3. Three, three. Now we do while standing 3-3, three, three, down 3-3. Three, three. See? The low-mid combos. 
So if they, they get hit by this and they stay blocking, he gets the low mid. Right? The low mid on block is negative 19. With some pushback, as you can see here based on the spacing, but most most if not all the cast will launch you for this on block. Either way it goes, if they stay standing though, it's gonna hit them. Right, look, I put them at the stand guard so you can just see it for yourself. Right? And that's also negative eight, but they're pushed very far away. And you got the extra damage. 45 damage, right? Total. Sorry. While as here you're negative eight and you push them back maybe half as much. So they can actually force uh, force a mix-up on you. Uh call me Krim. I I do I go super in depth. That's why. Let's see. Uh, Alright, let me just read the question here. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy informative, but I'm not confident I could pull any of these off in a real match. Execution isn't the problem. It's more nerves in real time. Any tips? Of course, it's having a notepad while I play. <laughs> Dude, the only advice I can give you for that is just to keep playing. Yeah, I've been playing Tekken for like over a decade now, inconsistently though. And uh, not at a very high level. But I have been playing Tekken for over a decade. And, um... I still have a lot of trouble executing shit on the fly. That's just something that I already know. I have to, I know, I have a lot of the knowledge, not all, but I have quite a bit of it. And like, I'll know, you if you see me stream, I'll call shit out in the middle of the match. I'll be like, I could have ducked that, I could have launched that, I could have did this, I could have did that. I say it out loud to remind myself. But that doesn't mean I'm doing it. Even after I say it, I'm like, I say it, I still fuck it up. I say it, I still fuck it up. Like five, six, seven, eight times in a row. You just gotta keep playing until that all goes away. And you know what really sucks? Depending on, this is, uh, your miles, may, your miles may vary on this, but depending on how you are, the moment you, like, drop Tekken for a while, let's say for, like, a month and you come back to it, you're gonna have to relearn all that shit. Granted, you're probably gonna, like, get all that shit back, that muscle memory back a lot quicker than your initial building up of it, but still, you're gonna lose all of that, you're gonna get super frustrated, and then, you know, a lot of people, there's like, I oh, fuck Tekken, and they move on. That's how you see so many people, including older Tekken players, go through that phase of fuck Tekken for a while. Then they come back, and then they, they get back at it. And then they get they run to another situation where they can't do something for a specific matchup. Fuck Tekken for a while, and then they come back to it. It's the fucking cycle of shame, right? But that's just how it is. Tekken is a, is a legacy skill game for a reason. Right, so that's all. That's also the cool thing about it. I don't know how many more techs we're gonna have in the future. This one did very well, so I'm gonna assume we're gonna get a tech and eight. Fingers crossed, right? Um, that that some sometime down the road, right? If you learn second through this game, you will be able to apply at least like 80% of that knowledge to tech and eight whenever that comes out. That's just how it is. That's how tech is. So just keep playing. Uh, if you have fun, oh. Oh, Nuska, what's up, dude? Your name is Blue, and I have a black background, so I have trouble. I have to, like, lean in and read your name. Um, yeah, uh, Lee sucks. <laughs> I agree with Beal. I think Lee is, uh, I, I think what's, I think if you enjoy playing Lee, by all means, play him. I don't think the character itself sucks in a situation where you can actually execute everything with him. What I think sucks about Lee is he has awkward execution stuff that he needs to use to get any mileage out of, like, key moves like this. You know, you need you want you need to do that fucking pickup of, on counter off of that move. That's a really really good move. That's a key lead move. Very good move on block. That's one plus two by the way. On block, it's only negative four for a homing mid, a homing mid, and on normal hit, he's plus three and he has full crouch mixups, full crouch, right? Two lows, two low options from full crouch. Look at what this does on counter hit. Three follow-ups. Lee, uh, it's that's a fucking key move. You need to be able to do this during a match, which is fucking hard. Otherwise, you get garbage on counter hit. You know, just one example of the many. I don't think you need this as much, but that's nice to have too. Uh, no problem. Glad I can help you, man. Let's see. Is the uh, intro to the series? Yeah. If you're having fun with Tekken, that's what matters. Just expect to lose. Like, oh, this is the song that starts playing backwards for some reason. Weird editing. Let me go to the next song. Uh, if you're having fun with Tekken, that's what matters. You just need to understand. Uh, try to fight, fight people around your level that most are just at least only or only a little bit better than you. And just try to learn your matchups based on that. Just understand that it's going to be a slow process, but it feels fucking good and rewarding. Every time you learn how to beat... 
Like, oh, this guy's using these three, four moves a lot. And then you learn how to beat those four moves, and you go back and you fuck that guy up. Maybe it's a friend of yours, right? That friend of yours has to hit the lab themselves, and they're going to have to learn how to beat what you were doing. And that's going to make you get better, because you're going to have to figure out how to beat what they learned to beat you, right? And then you both level up together. While if you were just to fight like... Like, uh, you know, fucking fighting GM. We're talking about Lee. You're about to fight. You're fighting fighting GM. You're new to tech and what, what the fuck is, you know. You're just going to get your ass blown out and you're not going to know shit. You're not going to learn anything. Even if he explains to you what he's doing, it's going to be like, I don't fucking know. How do you know? You don't have the context. You need to build up that context. And then you can get there eventually if you stick with it. Or just have fun. As long as you're having fun along the way. Don't, don't you know. You're going to lose a lot. You're going to lose a lot. That's just a matter of fact. You gotta, like, try to not get too mad at losing. Hard. It's very hard. I still get mad. Everybody gets fucking mad. Try not to and just accept it and just just keep trust. Just try to keep learning. Even if you lose the match, make it your aim to be like, all right, I'm noticing during the match this guy's doing this one move. I know how to punish that one move. So I might not be good enough to beat this guy, but I'm going to fucking punish that move every time he does it. And if, even if you get it at least, like, most of the time, that's a win. A small win. And just keep working towards that. Right? As long as you continue, you know, continue to improve, beating people that used to fuck you up is just a side effect of getting better. The better you get, the more you're gonna fuck those people up naturally. It's just gonna happen along the way. You heard? Any hitbox recommendations? My keyboard <laughs> seems to have started dropping inputs. Uh, I don't use a hitbox, but hitbox is very cheap for Tekken. If you if you look up a video from Tekken Tag 2 on the Hitbox official YouTube channel. Si just look, look uh, uh, on YouTube. Look up uh, uh, side step. Sorry, look up backdash cancel on Hitbox. You'll see how cheap that shit is. You could ex execute a perfect two-frame vulnerable window of uh, backdash cancel on a Hitbox using that trick where you hold the two buttons together while you're moving and letting go. I forget what they call it. it has a fancy name for the technique. Uh, Milo says, "I just tried back two loops. This shit is way difficult." Yeah, I agree, Milo. It's very sh bad for me. I have to like do back two and double tap forward to get it and that makes it seem to come out slow i don't i don't know the tricks of doing back two cancels lead players always tell me oh it's easy i'm like fuck you it's like me saying dragging off forward three cancel is easy you're used to it of course it's easy for you that shit is if you're not used to doing this cancel that shit is hard as fuck and he needs that shit <laughs> he needs at least one or two loops of that for most of his for most of his really good juggles he doesn't need to do like a million of them like he did in second six no. Like, Fighting Jam, we used to do like six or seven of these in a row for walking. Right? Think, thankfully, you don't gotta do that shit anymore. Um, any other questions that I'm missing? Stuff in the new fish for some uh, I'm not sure if I covered it on previous video. Uh, counter hit four into back one pickup. Super easy. Counter hit four into back one? Oh! I didn't catch that. Thank you for that, uh, news gun. News gun. So, yeah, um, cuz, uh, Back one one, uh, back one one into missed up is new, isn't it? He didn't have that before, and back one has a lot of range. That's cool. All right, so he has an easy pickup. How about on from max range? Okay, not so much from max range. <laughs> from max range, you might have to set up with a four four three. Not even four two one. <laughs> okay, dash four four three. Maybe I'm too slow. Okay, so I don't know. I don't quite know what he'll get from. Um... Yeah, that's a reset. That's not an actual combo. That's actually the one that I found back there. Yeah, you could get it. okay. So from max range, you could get a dash up back three three. That's probably what makes it better to learn the back three three dash catch because it'll work regardless of range. But if you're up close. Just back one one misstep cancel into I mean misstep cancel isn't easy, but the back one follow up is. You know? Oh you can do back one 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 without the misstep cancel too. <laughs> the DR combo. <laughs> Had trash damage. Yeah, pick a top TS yeah, so I was just doing. Uh, he had an attack too? Okay, I didn't know that. I had tech assist. Okay, so I didn't know that. Maybe that was always his, uh, pickup for of Connor hit for. I didn't know. Um, anyway. Back to, what else? Alright, so while standing 3-3, so I talked about this, right? 10 frames, 
You get left at negative eight if you don't do the follow up, but if you do the low kick, the low follow up, you get a total of 45 damage if they don't guess low. And you're still negative eight, but you're pushing pushing back about twice as much, maybe even more. It's hard to see visually here, right? 